Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop and I'm out here in the heavenly backyard garden. It's the month of April, the middle of April as a matter of fact, and the heavenly garden is becoming just that, heavenly. And the plants are growing vigorously right now, the vegetables are beginning uh, ready to pick, and the daylilies and other flowers are beginning to bloom. But it also means it's galaxy season. And tonight I want to take you on a tour of the heavens from the heavenly backyard garden. It is the view of the macro, those galaxies, and there's thousands, no, millions, no, billions of galaxies up in the heavens in a sky near you. So welcome to heavenly backyard astronomy. And Grizabella likes it too. She's my astro cat. She's always out here with me in the heavenly backyard garden and she just loves to roam around and see all the the sights that I get to see as well. So Grizabella, uh, let's get to work. Now the telescopes I'm using on the tour are two and they're from Orion. First of all it's the Orion Eon 130 millimeter refractor telescope. It's a fantastic scope. It's become my favorite scope. I have five telescopes. Well, this one certainly has become my favorite. And the other one is, uh, well, almost a second uh, favorite, is a smaller telescope. The Orion ED80, way over there on the other side of the yard, is a little 80 millimeter refractor. It's a triplet as well. Basically, it's the little sister to the big Orion Eon. But it also has a wider field of view of f5.6 but i'm using the orion uh 0.8 field reducer and that takes the f ratio down to f4.5 i believe somewhere around there 4.8 and uh, it's right there on the screen but uh, uh that one gives me a nice wide field view but in your own backyard you can see many many galaxies and this is the time of the year to look for them uh between uh uh, well, mid-April through the end of May, we, we call it galaxy season because the sky is just filled with galaxies. And so let's take that tour. Our tour begins with the elephant in the room, the Markarian chain of galaxies in Virgo. Wow! These galaxies are about 55 million light years away and contain billions upon billions, well, perhaps even trillions of stars each. I took this near three hour exposure late night of March 16th into the morning hours of March 17th. I used the Orion ED80 refractor telescope with the 0.8x reducer and field flattener. In another view from the middle of April with the same scope, you can see the chain to the left and below it is a super giant galaxy, Messier 87. This galaxy alone contains several trillions of stars and is one of the largest and most massive galaxies in our local universe. This is extremely hard to comprehend. Let's take an example. From within our own Milky Way galaxy, which contains about 200 billion stars, not trillion, but just billions, uh, here is a tiny patch of an area of the Cocoon Nebula region that I took last night. Now, the number of stars within this tiny area alone is nearly incomprehensible. And to think, M87 has trillions of them. Yeah. Also, this is the galaxy that hosts that super dense black hole that has been in the news lately. This picture taken by the Event Horizon Telescope by the European Southern Observatory. Our next stop fits well within the Heavenly Backyard Garden. This is Messier 63, the Sunflower Galaxy. In the sky, it is located near the handle of the Big Dipper. This galaxy contains about 400 billion stars, which is about twice the size of our own Milky Way. It is about 27 million light years away from us. I took this using the Orion Eon Telescope and the Player One Uranus C camera. This is uh, almost a three hour exposure, two hours and 50 minutes. Earlier in the season, I took this wider field of view within it, and here are numerous distant galaxies. Can you see them? Well, let me help you out a little bit. There, yep, numerous galaxies all around. Very nearby in the sky is the famed Whirlpool Galaxy, Messier 51. 
this spiral galaxy, and its companion is sometimes called the question mark galaxy. It is about 23 million light years away. In the sky, it is located near the end of the handle of the Big Dipper. In the sky, it is located near the end of the handle of the Big Dipper in the constellation Canes Venetici, and it contains more than 100 billion stars. And remaining in this area of the Big Dipper is the massive galaxy known as Messier 101, or the Northern Pinwheel Galaxy. This galaxy appears nearly face-on and contains about a trillion stars, and is about 21 million light years away. I took this image on the night of March 17th using the Eon and the Player One Uranus C camera. Moving back to LEO in one of its hind legs, we find the LEO triplet of galaxies. These three galaxies comprise of NGC, or New General Catalog 3628, Messier 66, and Messier 65. All three are large spiral galaxies. Now, NGC 3628 is also known as the Hamburger Galaxy due to its sandwich shape, which is probably caused by the tidal forces from the other two galaxies tugging onto it. All three galaxies are about 35 million light years away from us. I took this image on the night of March the 30th with a total image exposing time of 6 hours and 30 minutes. The Leo triplet is high overhead at midnight in early April. Staying in Leo, there is another triplet of galaxies, M95, M96, and M105 along with several other more distant galaxies. Now, M95 is about 33 million light years away, M96 about 31 million light years, and 105 about 32 million light years away. Between the three of them, there are about 180 billion stars. Moving out of Leo and back near the Markarian chain of galaxy is the Needle Galaxy. New General Catalog 4565. This galaxy appears nearly edge on and is about 30 to 50 million light years away. Since the apparent magnitude of this galaxy is brighter than that of the Andromeda galaxy, I am assuming it contains about a trillion stars. There are two nearby galaxies which are satellites of the needle. The other three at the top of the image are much further away at about 250 to 300 million light years in distance. Nearby in the sky is a galaxy about 17 million light years away. It seems rather close compared to all these other guys, but uh, it's labeled as Messier 64, but it carries the nickname of the Black Eye Galaxy. It is also known as the Sleeping Beauty Galaxy and the Evil Eye Galaxy. It consists of two counter-rotating disks that are approximately equal in size and mass, the inner disk contains the prominent dust lanes of the galaxy, giving it that appearance of having a black eye. In the near location of this region of the sky is a galaxy far, far away, Messier 100. This spiral galaxy is about 55 million light years from us and it contains about 400 billion stars, about twice the size of the Milky Way. So many stars out there, just so many. And finally, there is this peculiar looking galaxy about 31 million light years away. It's Messier 104. I took this two hour exposed image last night. During this time of the year, it doesn't appear until about two o'clock in the morning and is low in the southern sky. It is just barely above my tree line to my south. This galaxy appears nearly edge on, exhibiting a vivid band of stellar dust around its outer edge with a cloud of globular star clusters both above and below the core. This combination gives it the appearance of a Mexican sombrero hat. What a tour. You know, I love this hobby, astrophotography. I've been interested in astronomy ever since I was about yay high, seven years old. That's a long time ago. Uh, we're talking 1950. Let's not talk about that anymore. But anyway, uh, I, if you would like to help support my venture, you go ahead and buy me a cup of coffee or subscribe to my page right here. There you can see, buy me a cup of coffee right over there or subscribe to the page. Uh, if you have comments, please, please, please leave your comments uh, below. And I love all your comments. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. You know, it's, it's, well, it is a bit of a plea because the algorithm that YouTube uses uh, looks at those comments, it looks at the, uh, the likes and so forth, 
and that helps spread the video to other people that YouTube is basically not sending out these videos to. Anyway, uh, again, this is a fantastic hobby that I just thoroughly enjoy, and I'm, I'm always amazed at what I can see from my own backyard, and your backyard as well. Uh, it's, it's amazing, and it's all in a sky near you. So, unless you need rain, clear skies, everyone. Grizabella and I love to walk through the garden uh, and with my favorite beverage. She likes catnip. I like my draft beer. <laughs> anyway, one of the joys is my own backyard garden, which I call the heavenly backyard garden. She thinks so too. Cheers.